We interrupt this broadcast for some breaking news. Huh, I wonder what happened. Breaking news! Our reports have just informed us that two individuals have gotten in a severe car accident. The names of these individuals are unknown. Wow, that must really suck to lose somebody in a car accident. I really hope they're okay. Yeah, I hope they're okay too. I'm still confused how Eggman got that news reporter role. Yeah, I know, right? Well, to be fair, his news is pretty reliable. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, it's a phone call from Shadow. <clears throat> hey, Shadow, what's up? Hey, Sonic, is... is Knuckles there? Yeah, he's right next to me. Why? All right, great. I need you to put me on speaker, Sonic. This is very serious. Oh, um, okay. I hope everything's okay. You sound pretty worried. It's Shadow. He wants me to put him on speaker for us both to hear. Look, I don't know how to tell you guys this, but... Amy and Hattie got in a severe car accident today. Wait a second, are you serious? Are they okay? Well, I'm sorry to say this, but Hattie didn't make it. Wait, so Hattie's dead? Knuckles, I'm, I'm so sorry. What about Amy? Is Where's she? She's right here, right next to me. But she hasn't spoken a word. Doctors don't know how long she has left. I fear she may be dead any second. Oh my god, I... They, they must be the ones from the news report, Knuckles. Shadow, tell me this is a prank. Please tell me you're joking. No, Sonic. I'm being dead serious right now. I wouldn't joke about stuff like this. Look, I really need you to come to the hospital. If you have any time left, I'm sure Amy would appreciate to see you one last time. If she... If she even opens her eyes. We'll be there. Aw, oh, cheer up, pal. I know easier said than done, but I think I'm on the verge of losing someone dear to me, too. Do you think maybe you can go to the hospital with me? I could really use some support. Yes, I did. Let's go. Thanks, pal. It means the world. All right, Knuckles. Room 302. Shadow said it should be right here. She's right through this door, guys. Amy, I'm... I'm here. She hasn't spoken a single word since she got here. Where's Hattie? Knuckles. Hattie was torn to shreds from the accident. I see. Look, Knuckles, I'm so sorry. I know how much he meant to you. As a, as a best friend. What did the doctors say? It seems her heart is split in two, they said. They've never had a case like this, so they don't know what to do. Unfortunately, they don't know how long she has left. I suspect her death will come by midnight. So there's nothing we can do to save her? Nor the doctors? I'm afraid not, Sonic. The doctors said they tried everything they could to save her, but they've never had to put a heart back together before. As a matter of fact, they said they don't even know how she's still beating right now. Her heart should have been stopped a long time ago. Yeah.
some idiotic driver. Why couldn't he have just paid attention? He took the life of my girlfriend. He took the life of a man's best friend. And because of that, I'll never get Amy back. And we'll never get Hattie back either. I hope that text message was worth it. If you took two lives, that meant so much to people. I hope it was worth it. Amy, I love you so much, Amy. I can't believe this had to happen to you. I know I wasn't the perfect boyfriend. I truly did love you. And I, I just I wish I could do anything to bring you back. I'd give my own life to bring you back, Amy. All I cared about and all I had in this life was you. <laughs> Sonic, everything will be fine. No! Nothing will ever be fine about this. I lost my girlfriend because somebody wasn't paying attention while driving. Nothing about this is fine, Shadow. Nothing at all. Just leave me alone. 